Two different levels. I, I don't. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Vlogmas. Guess what? <laughs> Guess what? We bought a West <laughs> <laughs> <So, laughs> It's true, you guys. Hold on, give them a second to jump down here. <laughs> okay, guys, last video we sh were in a car and we were sharing how we sold our Travco motorhome. And well, we bought a Westphalia. That's the surprise that I don't know if you guys have like noticed it, but I've been like trying to hint that there's like a surprise, but I haven't really been doing a good job because literally like no one cares or like has been asking what the surprise was. But it's that we bought this Westphalia. No, Do you have anything to say? No, you can give them a tour though. Okay, well. So basically, we both wanted a Westie for a really long time, but we didn't think they were in our budget because the ones that are really nice and like totally fixed up are like crazy expensive. But we were able to get a really good deal on this one because it needs a little bit of work, but it runs. It has a rebuilt engine, new brakes, everything is good. We've actually driven it, which is so crazy. And we have, wait, come here. We have, I guess you don't need oh, to be me? Honest. Me or the camera? You, Nick. Oh. We have our first camping date set for this vehicle. So you guys will actually see us camping in it. We bought this a month ago, right? Like really close to the time we sold the Travco. You know what's funny? Because <laughs> I think that when I did the first Travco tour, I was wearing the same Def Leppard shirt. It's so true. Should we double check that right now? It's true because I just watched all those videos again. Anyway, so this is the Westphalia. It's a major stick shift. I still don't know how to drive stick, but I'm going to learn, okay? Mark my words, I'm gonna learn. So it's an air-cooled engine, which means water doesn't go on the engine. It gets cooled by air, right, Nick? Like a Porsche, apparently. And the engine's actually in the back, which is why the dash is really short. But anyway, so what's cool about this, it has it came with original things like G old, GPS. old GPS, <laughs> lots of maps of California, which is kind of fun. What else is in here? Um, original carpet. There's no air conditioning. I'm already sweating, but it has these little special window doodads. So they're like this. And then you just pinch it and go like that and then it's supposed to help air like flow onto you when you're driving um yeah this is all original stuff in here we're gonna clean it up like we've cleaned it a little bit but we're really gonna like scrub it down uh, you know so it's not dusty or whatever this used to have carpet on here but we got rid of that look at my seat you guys your seat <laughs> the passenger seat these are springs that dig into my back which is kind of fun but we're gonna fix that i usually just sit with like a like a t-shirt behind me or something and it helps. They flip around. How cute is that? This one flips too. Not all the way though, right Nick? And then this is a table. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is the kitchen. So you lift this up. We have some rags in there we for have this the sound. So that it doesn't jingle. You can remove the rags. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen that. I this haven't seen for, since I clean it. This is for no, I didn't see this part down. This is cool because um, it's obviously two burner stove. This is for like drying dishes, I think, because then it runs into here. My dad said it was a cutting board. Yeah, well, I feel like it's it's dual purpose. Oh, hold on, let's create more space. Oh yeah. The cool thing too about the Westphalia, obviously, is that when you have it popped up, you can stand comfortably in here. So when you're cooking or hanging out or whatever. You don't have to be bending down. It has this little thing up here that again needs to be cleaned, 
the paint's chipping on it. With the Travco, we basically just bought the shell and then we were reimagining the inside, but it's cool to be able to preserve, you know, this type of vehicle. And so we're obviously gonna like keep all the original everything. The one thing that we're going to change is eventually we're gonna replace the carpet in the front because it's pretty dingy and gross. And then we're gonna recover the seats. As you can see, it's pretty old. I'm pretty sure it's original. So we went to this fabric depot. It's cool because it's fabric that was um, like overstock. So it's like sort of a little bit more of a sustainable way to buy fabric because you're not like buying directly from the manufacturer. It's like bulk overstock of stuff that maybe, you know, would end up in a landfill anyway or you know if it wasn't purchased so anyway we got a really pretty sort of like dark um, navy blue color that I think will be great for when we're traveling and camping oh but let me finish the tour over here yeah, so open up the different cabinet yeah so I don't know if we've That's cleaned just a drawer. this out this is like what's this key for it's the gas cap key no oh. one knows where we keep it out <laughs> um so yeah there's storage there there's a ton of storage in here this was the original plate. Its name was Boris, originally from Oregon. We haven't named it yet. Well, we sort of have. We were thinking about Beluga, but if you guys have any cool names or hashtags for this vehicle, let us know. The refrigerator's up next. This runs off of gas, AC, or DC. A lot of people with Westphalias end up taking the fridge out because it's sort of a power suck. But look at this. There's a little tiny ice tray. How cute is that? So anyway, the fridge works. We plugged it in and it does work. But we don't know if we're gonna keep it. Or... We also have our um, cooler, so we'll probably just end up using our cooler so we can save energy a little bit. And then over here we have more storage. Storage that goes all the way back there. Wait. It's just a tiny little storage. Tiny little thing. Okay, and then the table. It's like a hospital table, sorry. But it works. So this is nice, a nice little workspace. And it's cool that the chairs in the front flip so that you can interact with people, right? Mm -hmm. And then over here, guess what? More storage. So this is this little compartment and the water, no, what's under here? It's like the connection, like oh, okay. the pipes and stuff. Yeah, pipes and stuff. That's where the whole bolt. More here, this one's much more Underneath shallow. Underneath that thing is the, if you move that thing to the left, if you rotate it, that's where the water tank is. So get it there. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna move it. <clears throat> Needs to be cleaned a little bit. This is one of my favorite little things. The original ones have a mirror right here, so I'm gonna look for something on eBay, you know, like a, a mirror we can replace. But there's a little curtain for hanging clothes in here. How cute is that? And this is actually a really big little closet compartment. It goes pretty far down, and I love the little curtain rod. Oh, hold on, let me get the camera. Oh. So cute, we just need the little mirror. Oh, and then more storage up here. Got your tools up there. And there's the sleeping area. They have to push. <laughs> you want to lay down and show us how it works, Sally? No. <laughs> and then this here, let's have you hop dusty. up here too. Okay. Another thing that's cool about the Westie is that it actually sleeps four, believe it or not. So two people can sleep down here and then two people can be up here. <laughs> so this is the little tent up here last week or was it the week before we replaced this because the original one had a bunch of holes in it and so when we bought this van they had this new tent that they were um, throwing in with a deal so we had to take all the staples out all the way around the entire tent to replace it to make sure it was watertight and I think we did a good job but yeah we need to sort of fix this up here because it's a little bit sticky but those cushions that we were washing a couple weeks ago go up here so that folding mat that I um, showed you guys maybe on Instagram um, or was it on YouTube I don't know it was a vlog 
it's all a blur now. But anyway, those go up here, so it's kind of cool. And then if we're not sleeping up here, we can use this for storage when we're, you know, parked somewhere camping too. A lot of people do that. They'll put like their, you know, bags or whatever up here, which is cool. All right, guys. Well, that's the first tour of the new updated <laughs> cherry travel situation um let us know if you have any recommendations for hashtags or names or places we should take this thing like i said we're going to big sur in november and we're so excited because we haven't been able to go because the bridge has been broken for the last year um but anyway i don't know it's kind of weird to like share about the trapco and then just like right away share about this but we're so, Nick and I, I keep saying we. Nick's right here, but he refuses to be in the video. <laughs> I was in the video. We're so, so excited. And we just can't believe that we bought this and like can immediately use it because obviously you guys know that wasn't what happened at all with our motorhome. So anyway, we hope you guys are on board with our new adventures in the Westphalia and we're excited for what's to come. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you to those of you who are supporting me on Patreon and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs> Watch the road, Nick. Okay, guys. Um, I'm gonna put you away so we can listen to music now, and I'll check in with you in a bit. Ah! It actually looks really nice in low light. Okay. Hi. <laughs> I know.